Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Isaac Mutenyo. I'm the coordinator of the Appropriate Technology Center for Water and Sanitation, based in Uganda. And I was in charge of coordination of the data collection exercise for the pre-intervention baseline study. I'm presenting to you the methodology of what we did in the collection of data for this project. Uh, generally, we use the mixed methods approach, which involves qualitative and quantitative approaches, where for qualitative, we used focus group discussions and informal interviews for special groups. And then for the quantitative approach, we used questionnaires as tools for collecting data. So household lists for vulnerable people were identified and secured from government lists, which are kept at the local government level and these helped us to identify which households to collect data from and uh, the data which was collected from vulnerable people's households was compared with data collected from households which did not have people with disabilities. This data was matched, matched between the households of the same community and the purpose was to get a contextual approach where we are able to compare accessibility issues for people with disabilities and for households that do not have people with disabilities. And the purpose was to find out whether really there is an accessibility issue for the, for the disabled people. Now we did interviews and on-site observations of WASH at household, in schools and communities using observational checklists and the purpose of this was to try and authenticate data that was collected from households with the, re the reality of the facilities which were on the ground and this also helped us to compare the accuracy of information that is given in the questionnaires and also the information of accessibility as it is on the ground. We held key informat interviews, focus group discussions and interviews with senior ministry officials, experts from NGOs and organizations for disabled persons. And these informal group interviews were facilitated by Professor Nora Gross. And the information which was acquired gave us an indication of what kind of data we collect when we go out to the field. Uh, this was the general overview for the project both in Zambia and Uganda. But perhaps I could add a few uh, experiences that we got from the project in Uganda, in Katakui and Amoria. Here we had a challenge of getting lists from the government departments, so we used information from other organizations which were working in these uh, lo localities in, the, in these districts and it was very helpful because we were able to get the information for the households to visit although there wasn't a, a database from the government department. Overall the project data collection exercise took four months although we had anticipated that it would take two months because we had to make return visits to collect data that didn't appear to be very accurate when we started doing the cleaning exercise. And uh, this data was all collected, packaged, cleaned, and was submitted to LCD for further processing in order to get out the analysis and information. Thank you very much for your attention.